help me old ducks. Hope you're all doing well today. Uh, last week I watched a video by Matthew Street and he was talking about the Beatles Black Album and I thought I remember that well that was a favourite bootleg a favourite bootleg of mine and I thought I can do a video on that too and here it is. Totally black. Got the embossed try and find it. There's somewhere there. The embossed Beatles there, just about see that, yeah. We'll let it be outtakes and let it be sessions. Three albums. So there's the list track listing there, if you can see that. Pause if you have to or you need to. Right, I got this in 1981 and that's the year it came out. A friend of mine was ordering one of himself, so he said to me, would you like one too? I said, of course. And he told me the price was £20, which sounds pretty low now, but I had to dig deep for £20 in those days. So he ordered this for me. I'm so glad I bought this now. There I have it. It also came with a poster, which I will try and show you very carefully because these things tend to split again. Similar to the white album poster. There you go. And on the back, some dialogue from the Let It Be movie. The dialogue came from the book, what was included in the UK box section, box set of Let It Be. Okay. Did a little video on that too, so check that one out. <coughs> now in Matthew's video there was some discussion about were there any uh, small prints of each beetle included along with the poster. And I don't think there was. Because like I said I bought that in 1981. Uh, still sealed. So I know the only thing in there was the poster. But that inspired me to make my own. So what I did, I scanned those four photographs there, right, and I did make my own. There you go. So I do have a set of photographs now to go with that album, albeit. I made them myself. So, in actual fact, I did the same thing <coughs> with this album. Now, this is a Russian white album, if you've never seen this before. There's the track listing there. If you can read Russian, you've got it. And again, there's four, four pictures there. Not photographs, but I think they were hand drawn. So I did that last year and made, again, made my own to go with it. There we go. There we go. But I, I also read on the internet there was a poster with that Russian White album too. Which I don't know, but I did find this on the internet. I made a little print of that. Again, it's a similar. That is like the white album, there's a different picture in the middle there. So I thought I'd put that in with the album too. <coughs> Excuse me. So there we go then, we've got the black album and we've got the white album. Like I say, it's a triple, go back, we're talking about the black album now. Triple album. Uh, so I'll just show you the, the vinyl. And then one thing I don't like about this album. That's that, that picture there. Apparently that came from National Lampoon. I don't know. I've been told that's the case. But bearing in mind this was 1981 so we were still raw from December of 1980. Yeah so not too keen on, on the picture there. Uh, a gun 
pointing to a dog's head. So there we go. But I think the one I know the one Matthew showed, it was a different label to that one. It had a individual pictures of the Beatles on the uh, I think they were probably pictures, these pictures. Uh, I think, I can't remember now, I'll have to check Matthew's video again, but anyway, there we go. Come to the end of another video, and I hope you've stayed to the end. Um, we've had a bit of black and white, so uh, a good bit of variation. Okay, so uh, thanks for stopping by.